Joseph, we are exhilarated to have you joining us at the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. We were so excited to witness your talent when you auditioned. I know we put you through a whole round of interviews and meetings and uh, got to know you a little bit in those, in those few days and just very excited that you're here. I, I wonder if you could talk a little bit about your background in music, what got you involved in it and, and how you came to have that be such a big part of your life. Well, I started playing the trumpet in uh, sixth grade when, in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, when I was 16, I knew that I wanted to be a conductor. Um, I went to a summer program for high school students to prepare us for a conservatory life. And one of the classes that we had to take was conducting. And it was that chance that I got to conduct Beethoven's second symphony, the second movement. And from that point on, I was hooked on being an orchestral conductor. I fell in love with the sound. Um, but after high school, I went to college as a music ed major and actually fell in love with teaching and decided to become a teacher for three years. But in the back of my mind, I knew I wanted to see what it took to be a conductor, orchestral conductor. So I went to workshops and I met my um, mentor, Marin Alsop, and she decided to take me on as a student. And I was the assistant with the Baltimore Symphony and that started my, my journey as a conductor. As you'll be taking over the Atlanta Symphony Youth Orchestra as well, there's something about your education background that just makes you so ideally suited for all the things you'll be doing here. How do, how do you find the work with students to be distinguished from your work with professionals? Um, I really love working with students because I like to see them work hard. And they inspire me to work hard to see um, how far I can take them. And um, we, I, I know I'm planning a challenging uh, season for them, but I, I think they are in for a challenge. And I think kids really love to be you know, challenged how far they can actually take things. And, and I enjoy doing that um, from my teaching days until now. You were an assistant conductor in Phoenix before arriving here. And um, how would you, I was an assistant conductor in, in Boston and you had this experience and I, of course you've assisted in all kinds of situations in some point in your, in your work. And it, I think people are often curious about what does that mean? What does an assistant conductor do? And it's, um, it's sometimes not the easiest answer to give, right. but I know that all the assistants we had here uh, in the past have made themselves really just invaluable parts of the institution and I, I hope I was able to do that in my role. Can you talk a little bit about that role? I, I think one of the important parts of being an assistant is the, the nurturing of our talent. It's the way that we take the responsibility as an assistant conductor to learn as much as possible as we're here because we are out in the audience um, helping out the, the orchestra whenever it's needed, but this is an opportunity for us to learn as much as possible. And, uh, you know, I've been an assistant with, with Phoenix. I had a position with Baltimore. I've had a position with Buffalo. And all of those positions, I took something and learned something from those. But I also have the responsibility to be someone important in the community, someone important in the educational world. And I, with my background, I find that is... Um, an avenue that I am really passionate about, and I hope here in, in Atlanta that I get to do all of that as well. You're yes, certainly, uh, in that you're working with Robert, uh, you're, Robert has this inspired and uh, inspiring eye when it comes to locking onto great talent, great young conductors. I mean, it's a remarkable legacy that you have, and I think, uh, one of the most important parts. I know, speaking uh, from my experience, I mean, my most formative experiences were indeed working with conductors who were very willing to, quite literally, and it wasn't always rhetorical, it's not how good am I and how am I sounding, but it was very much indeed when you're out in the auditorium listening, really a genuine what's wrong and encouraging an associate, an assistant conductor after you've gotten over probably the initial, what, he really wants to know what I think. <laughs> but this feeling of when you're out in the auditorium, uh, it can sound very, very different and balance issues, rhythmic issues. And uh, I think that's what uh, I've certainly, uh, in these many years that we worked here together, 
one of the things I've been most impressed by with Robert, but also the orchestra, is this taking the associate very seriously and it gives you a chance uh, to know what's most important to you. And if I was standing up there, what would I be doing? And what would I be doing differently or better? And I think with all the, the assistant positions that I've had, I've come to know what I, you know, who I am as a conductor or who I want, who I want to be as a conductor and as I'm growing and knowing what repertoire I, 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 I'm falling more in love with or um, uh, what I, I want kids to, or what I want kids to get out of programs. So it, it, it's always a, a, a growing kind of, of position that I, I, I like exploring myself in, in this position. Joseph, I know that many, many years before I ever dreamt of coming to Atlanta, to the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra, that this orchestra was already a, a legend and of course the, the long and phenomenal legacy of Robert Shaw. And I wonder, coming now to Atlanta and becoming the associate, was there something similar in your life thinking, that's one heck of an orchestra, that's one heck of a chorus? Well, growing up first, for me, first of all, it was one heck of an orchestra because growing up in Charleston, this was the orchestra that you know I looked up to. Uh, this was the major orchestra of the Southeast, and and it actually feels like a a dream come true, be, coming back closer to home and being with this orchestra and and knowing that they're world class musicians and knowing the uh, how innovative this orchestra is, it is just going to open more you know creative creative juices for me in the future. So I'm just really looking forward to stepping in front of this orchestra and, and, and working with them and seeing what we can do together. I believe the feeling is quite mutual. It's great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to Atlanta. Thank you.